Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a uh, teacup and a teapot. So let's get started. I'm very excited to show this to you. I really enjoyed drawing this, so I hope you like this as well. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day and along the way while I draw I also give you some fun facts so today I will be giving you some fun facts of what I'm drawing and also if you have any requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below and I will draw that for you for next time and also if you want to connect with me send me a message send me your drawings don't forget to check out my um, Instagram and my Facebook accounts you can connect with me there as well and send me any messages any questions uh, or just comment below and uh, let me know if there's anything that I can help you with or any questions that you have for me to answer and also if you want to um, add any comments regarding uh, these drawings and if you know any fun facts that you would like to share you can always let me know by commenting below as well So I will give you some fun facts about the teapot um, and today I'm reading 10randomfacts.com so um, it is an early modern society signature uh, not so much now but before uh, especially in British uh, regions uh, they use a teapot um, a lot so a teapot is a container used to make and serve beverages um, most commonly tea and they are generally made of steel ceramic or glass while bronze and other metals have been commonly used in the past as well so today um, the one that we are drawing here looks more like a ceramic one and uh, the cup as well so there are three main parts to a teapot the body where uh, which contains the beverage uh, the round part the body the handle to hold the pot and the spout to pour the beverage and most have a lid to contain the liquid keep the heat in and stop other particles contaminating the tea while some have an built-in strainer to prevent uh, tea leaves from entering the cup uh, yeah so uh, there is a strainer inside as well in some teapots and in some teapots they don't have a strainer so you have to use a strainer uh, when the tea comes out um, of the teapot uh, to the cup so uh, tea made using a teapot is often done by inserting a, inserting dried tea leaves or sometimes tea bags into the pot and boiling water is added to make the beverage which is then stepped, uh, steeped for a few minutes and then poured into a drinking vessel typically a teacup so this is basically telling you how to make tea I'm sure everyone here knows how to make tea and how to use the teapot as well. So in the history of Yiking area in China, tea was commonly made and drunk. And it is believed that in the early to mid 1300s, a Chinese potter from the area was the first to have invented the teapot. Okay, so China invented the teapot and teapots were exported from China to Europe by the late 1600s and in the 1700s. Europeans were successful in creating their own pots after much trial and error with if inferior porcelain. Wow! So going back to the drawing, so you can see that we are done with the teacup 
and the teapot. So all we need to do is add some details and then get into coloring. I will also show you how I colored it as well. And I always use, as always, I used color pencils, but really it's up to you which uh, medium you want to use. So I added some more details like few leaves um, and a table and things like that. So you will see shortly how I'm going to finish it off. Just, in, uh, just adding in few details to make the drawing a little nicer. Um, it's more like an illustration drawing. So um, I wanted to make it look nice with more color and more details so that it looks like a full uh, finished drawing. So I really hope you'll like this one. And apparently, uh, teapots um, has been collected by many people, um, and they are uh, there are enthusiasts that collect teapots. And the largest collection in the world in 2007 was owned by Tang Yu from Kaozhou in China, with a total of 30,000 teapots. And even though using a teapot is the traditional method of making tea and is often used for formal occasions, tea bags placed in a mug or a teacup have made the pot somewhat redundant as they are more easily transportable, less bulky, and more convenient. So if you're just making a tea for yourself or just a household, a lot of people don't use a teapot anymore because like the website said, um, it is kind of redundant. Nobody uh, needs another thing to wash. Um, if you're having a tea party or if you want to make it presentable, then maybe a teapot, but uh, it's not really needed anymore. Um, so there you go. So we are done with the drawing part. So I'm going to color the teapot and the teacup. Usually they come in sets, so I wanted to color it uh, the same color so I used blue um, but really again if you want to put some patterns onto the teacup and the teapot you can um, you can add some like flowers or like some uh, modern patterns like dots or polka dots or um, triangles or lines whatever you want um, so it's up to you how detail you want to go um, so I just colored it blue and I'm also going to color uh, the the area where it's sitting on I'm gonna color it a little brown so that uh, it looks like it's a table and inside the cup I'm gonna draw some um, actual tea or coffee whichever you want to make it look like so I'm just gonna use some brown and color that and um, I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like at the end of this video So now that I showed you how to color each and every part of the drawing, I'm just going to show you the full color drawing. So this is the full color drawing of the teacup and the teapot illustration. I really hope you like it and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you want to buy products with this cute little drawing on, don't forget to check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products. I have so many for you to choose from, so I hope you love them all. And now I'm going to put some next videos for you to check out next. 
I like I hope you like those as well and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel and I really really hope you love these videos and please let me know if there is any uh, requests for me to draw for next time and also I hope you have a really great Sunday and you have a great great day I will see you tomorrow bye